I shot a lot of videos at Reefapalooza 2017 this year, and when I got home, my memory cards were blank. But over the last couple of weeks, after running some recovery software on you know my memory cards, I was able to recover some of the footage. The audio is basically useless, but I hope you enjoyed what I was able to recover. The best part of Reefapalooza was connecting and talking to some of the other YouTubers that you know I've been seeing on live stream. So here's Billy Pipes. Check out his channel, Billy Pipes, on YouTube. Man, Billy was prepared for everything. He had a cooler, he had a wagon, he had a cooler with snacks, extra mixed salt water, frag plugs, you name it, Billy had it. So thanks to Billy, Billy was one of the reasons some of the frags I bought got home safe and sound. It was good to finally meet Rico, the live stream king. Rico drove all the way from Ohio and brought me a Hellfire torch, which I'll show off at a later date, but thanks Rico. Rico was definitely fun to hang around. DC Reefer took the time to offer some solid advice about some of the equipment he used. I ended up getting the Smooth Q Jimbo because of his recommendation and it's been working well so far so look out for improvements in the video quality going forward. I met so many people there. Roscoe's Reef with Scott, Inappropriate Reefer was there with Sally, Joey the king of DIY he was there with Rachel O'Leary. Man these guys are great. Joey took the time to shake and take a photo with everyone who asked and the guy was so patient. I met TMG I made, met aquarium activists. There were so many YouTubers and reefers there that I enjoyed all the time I spent with them at the show. Here is Manhattan Aquariums. This is my LFS. I'm in there probably every week. I know the staff very well. They're very helpful. One of the best fish stores for both fresh and salt water that you're going to find in New York City. So if you have a chance to check them out, they're on 37th Street between 10th and 11th Avenues. So right very close to the Javits Center. Absolutely Fish in Clifton, New Jersey is quickly becoming one of my favorite fish stores to visit. It's one of the larger fish stores. And especially in New York City where, you know, size constraints, you can have, you know, some smaller fish stores, but Absolutely Fish is really on the bigger side. They have some really good mature fish tanks, fish and coral tanks on display, and they have a huge selection of saltwater fish. So if you're in the Clifton, New Jersey area, they're definitely worth checking out. You will not be disappointed. It was also good to see Pop Corals which is a fish store I visit periodically in Brooklyn. Now Pop Corals is a really, is a smaller store. However, they're open late until 9 and 10 p.m. even on the weekends. So there's been a couple of times where I've had a pump break and I call Pops and you know, he was open at nine o'clock on a Sunday and was willing to stay open until 10, 10.30 for me to get there to purchase a pump. So gotta give a special shout out to Pop Corals in Brooklyn. I really appreciate and respect Pop and his store. One of the more interesting vendors I met at Reefapalooza, New York was Millionaire Coral and they are run out of the Williamsport Area High School in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Now, I was wondering why that sounded familiar, and I realized that Williamsport is where the Little League World Series takes place every summer. So that kind of, you know, led me to them initially. But this is run out of the high school, and I think, you know, they have about 3,000 gallons total, and the kids are the ones that are really responsible, of course, with the assistance of teachers, are responsible for taking care of the tank. So it's part of their, you know, um, program I guess they have a special program in high school but um, one of the ways the program is funded is they go to swaps and frag meets like Reefapalooza and they had great prices I think they have clownfish for five dollars they had huge colonies for ten fifteen dollars 
some of the, because they're a nonprofit, so some of their prices were the best at Reefa Palooza. So um, I'll put a link to their Facebook page, but definitely check out Millionaire Coral. And remember, Reefa Palooza is being held in the summer when these teachers, the two teachers that are run, that are at the Frag Swap, are supposed to be on vacation. So you really gotta hand it out to them for the dedication to keep keeping this program alive. So thank you. So Dirks is there they saw to sell everything you'll everything at Reefa Palooza except fish and corals. So these guys drive all the way from Minnesota and you know after you're finished purchasing frags and corals at Reefa Palooza, they pretty much sell everything else you need to get your stuff acclimated. So, you know, I ended up buying frag wraps, I needed some of those extra large zip ties, I needed, um, you know, feeding tubes. So Dirks ended up having all of that for me. So I got to give a thank you to them. They're always in the same spot at Reefa Palooza. So, you know, whenever you buy those frags and you need anything else, Dirks pretty much have it. Anything you have, these guys have it. Even if it's not on display, make sure to ask them because more than likely, they'll be able to dig it up. Wolf Reef Supply was at Reefa Palooza with some of the best giveaways. Towards the end of the show, Sunday evening, I had a conversation with Ryan, asking him some questions about Triton. And he said, you know, they're in the process of converting the BRS-160 to Triton. And that video was released just a couple of days ago. So this was one of the reasons when I made the decision to, you know, go full on Triton method with my tank the prospect of no water changes is really intriguing. some time to talk to Joe Caparata, owner of Unique Corals and the distributors for Triton here in the US. So Joe took some time to explain to me how the Triton method works and gave me some tips on transitioning my tank from the Zeovit method onto Triton. So Joe was instrumental in convincing me that the Triton method was worth trying and again, who doesn't want to try a method that promises no water changes you basically use algae chetomorpha as a way to control nutrients so 
I ended up getting a Pax Bellum reactor. I bought the the all the um, the solutions for the trite method here at Reefa Palooza. So you know, once I got back from the show, I was eager to kind of set it up on the tank and see how it goes. Neptune System was there showing off their new core return pump and you know from what I'm reading it looks impressive and I love the fact that it's going to integrate straight with my Neptune Apex which is something that you know my current Vectra M1 doesn't do. But I try to stay away from my good friend who works for Neptune Systems, Tom, because every time I have a deep conversation with him I end up spending a ton of money and I was trying to stay away from that this show so I'll see you later Tom Palooza was all about the corals, corals, corals. And here is some of the stuff I purchased from my tank. It was, I took this video the same day, so, you know, stuff still needed time to kind of settle in, you know, get used to the tank, acclimate to the lighting. Here's the Hellfire torch that I got from Rico. I mean, when this thing settles in and opens and get placed properly, it's just going to be beautiful. I mean, I really don't have space for all the corals I bought. I set up a couple of frag racks, um, you know, but right now the tank is looking kind of messy because it's just corals, corals everywhere. But all in all, it was a great show. I really enjoyed my time there. This is my second year attending, so I'll definitely be back next year. In fact, I might even check out the one in Orlando, you know, convince the wife to make it like a mini vacation. So. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Just pop back in to say a lot of these were impulse buys by the wife and I, so I have no idea what a lot of these are. So please, in the comments below, if you can take some time and just let me know the timestamp and what the name of the coral is, it would be greatly appreciated. So thanks.